if our network is attempting to reach a minimum loss and it comes and gets to this point here, then it's possible that it ends up getting stuck and is unable to learn anymore. And it never ends up reaching over this local uh, maxima here before coming down to the global minima. So we should have the understanding now that the goal of the network is to converge onto the global minimum. But as we can understand, it's possible for the optimizer to get stuck in a local minimum and then not con continue learning and eventually reaching the global minimum. While these simple 2D and 3D illustrations help to get the point across about the intuition of what can happen during the training process, it's important to keep in mind that actually the loss is usually a function of sometimes millions of weights in the network. And so I will leave that up to you to come up with a visual that more accurately represents that relationship. So now we can understand how the network can get stuck in a local minima during the training process. The choice of which optimization algorithm we use during training can help prevent this situation from happening.